In 1989, Ed Lovett, Dr. Dre, along with Ted Demi and Peter Doherty, would embark on a hip-hop cultural phenomenon called Yo! MTV Rap. Here, one half of the duo, Dr. Dre, tells how it all began. And we, had, we did lots of early MTV stuff with the Beasties. And I was DJing at a loft party for Jessica Rosenblum and Beaver. That I constantly did that. And, and my good Rose friend... Bloom was a big promoter back then, right? All the well, club. she was becoming a big promoter. Okay, gotcha. And Beaver. And Pete came by and he said, Hey, man, what's going on? How you doing? I said, oh, Hey, Pete, what's happening? And I'm DJing the party. And he said, Yo. He said, Have you seen the show Yo! on TV Raps? I said, Yeah, because it just came out with Fat Five on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I said, Yeah, I did. He said, Well, you want to come by my office? I want to talk to you about it. Sure. So he handed me a card. Had a shamrock on it and an MTV logo. Mm -hmm. So my other good friend, late great Ozzy Gibson, late great Takata. I'm gonna do an interview that's called like All 10. the Late Greats. Yeah, that's like ten. And I got more. Anyway, I showed Ozzy and he said, yeah, "Why not?" So I went to sit and talk with Pete, and he was telling me, "He said, well, what do you think about the Fab Show?" I said, "It's cool, but it needs a you know, little more personality. I love Fab, but the show needs a little more different energy." So he said, well, you think you can produce something? I said, sure, I can. I know how to produce TV. I didn't know how to produce TV at all. <laughs> Matter of fact, T-Money was going to school for producing radio, television, and all that crap. I'm over here bragging on, yeah, I can produce TV segments. I'm good at this. So we did this barbershop segment about getting haircuts. Okay. And the guy that was supposed to come didn't show up. So I jumped in the chair and did his part. Right. Pete took the tape. Went back to MTV, called me up. Hey, man, could you come back down? I want to talk to you. Came down, he said, hey, we're thinking of expanding your MTV raps to a daily show. Would you be interested? I go, what? Would you be interested? And I'm looking at, looking at him going, you want this fat black man from Newcastle, Long Island to host something on MTV? I don't fit the MTV image. Matter of fact, the first time I walked in the office, I was around looking around for black people. <laughs> Where y'all at? <laughs> I'm looking around, you know, you're looking over the thing. No black people in sight. Then I saw two black people. One was empty in the garbage, the other was pushing a can. I said, I knew somebody was here. So I'm like, wow. He said, well, let me introduce you to my um, PA production assistant, the late, great Ted Demi. <laughs> Told you, they're gonna, keep, they're gonna keep coming. So he introduced me to Ted, I go to Ted's office, and we do an audition tape. I go back down to Pete's desk office, and we're talking and laughing about stuff. Ted comes back down to get me and says, can you come back down, I wanna, I wanna try something. Sure. So as I walk down the hall, I see this tall, skinny black guy with blonde, a blonde Gumby. Mm -hmm. At the time, Gumby, Gumby is a hairstyle back in that day that we all used to sport, some of us. And I said, oh boy, here it goes. Lost the job and didn't get the job. Skinny that's black man, that's what in my mind. Skinny black guys got me beat. No way they're gonna hide a fat black guy. So we go in and walk into Ted's office and Ted goes, hey man, this is uh, my friend Ed Lover. Ed Lover, this is, I, says, I know who he is. You do that show at BAU. Yep, yep, yeah, I, yeah, that's me. He said, yeah, man, I listen to you all the time. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So Ted goes, I got an idea. Can we do an audition with you two guys at the same time? Now I'm like, well, how's that gonna work? So we do a couple of things. Ted is cracking up, it's funny. Don't know Ed from a can of paint. So we see these Jamaican dreadlock wigs on Ted's hat rack. We put these on and we do this whole Jamaican thing. He falls out. He goes, thanks man, I appreciate this. He takes the tape and runs out the door. I shake Ed's hand. I walk back to Peter's office. Peter goes, I said, yeah, he had me do an audition with this guy at Lover. He said, who's that? I said, one of Ted's friends. What was he doing? I said, I don't know. He asked if I wouldn't mind him. He said, okay. But the rest of that story I got to tell you in my book, Yo Biggest Stuff.